Hello, my name is Bia, and I'm the artist of Tinkalila Arts. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how to get commissions, and not just how to get commissions in general, but specifically how to get your first commission. This video is for people who want to start selling art commissions and haven't yet gotten to that milestone of creating your first paid artwork. To start, the first thing you need to figure out is what you're offering. You could do shoulders up portraits, full body portraits, pet portraits, or you could get into more specific niches like pixel art drawing or even Dungeons and Dragons map drawing or character sheet drawing. There are a lot of these highly specialized niches out there for you to explore, or you could market to a more general audience with something that can appeal to everyone. No matter what you choose to offer, the important part is that you pick something or offer just a few options to your clients. You'll have certain clients that will know exactly what they want and they will tell you. And it's good to let these clients know that you're open to these jobs, but the average client will not know exactly what they want. And if you present them with too many options, it can dissuade them from choosing to commission you over someone else who makes it seem simple. You will often see artists with these huge commission sheets that have over 10 options for customers to choose from. These commission sheets can work better with highly specialized niches where there are a lot of people who know exactly what they want but these will work poorly with the general public. Remember that you're the artist, not the client. Making artistic choices like this may be second nature to you, but to a client, this can be seen as a burden. Basically, when it comes to offering options to clients, keep it simple. The next step is pricing your commissions. This is tricky. Lots of artists will start out selling commissions for way too cheap. When I first started offering commissions, there were times that I was doing portraits for $5. This was no one's fault but my own. I underpriced my work because I just really wanted to start getting commissions, and I thought the low price point would bring in customers. But looking back on it, I don't think the people commissioning me at that time would have cared either way. I was mostly receiving commissions from acquaintances and longtime followers who wanted to show their support. They respected my art and likely would have paid more, but instead I was spending hours on commissions that came nowhere near close to paying minimum wage because I didn't have the confidence to price my art higher. Pricing your art according to hours spent on it and trying to at least pay yourself minimum wage is a good place to start. It's not foolproof. For example, a very skilled artist with decades of practice may be able to draw much faster than you and still set a higher price point. But as a rule of thumb, you should be paying yourself at least minimum wage. Finally, while we're on the topic of money, you'll want to make sure you have a method by which you collect payment. You could accept payment through PayPal, Ko-Fi, Venmo, or even a marketplace like Etsy. You wanna make sure that you're taking payment through a secure and safe method and you should never ever let a client withhold payment until the job is finished. Either take all the pay up front or do half up front and half after the job is finished. If a client insists on only paying afterwards, they honestly might be fully intending on paying once it's done, but they also might be planning on dangling the pay over your head in order to demand endless revisions for free or even just flat out not paying you at all. It's never worth the risk, so be clear to your clients about when payment should happen. I hope these tips help you get your first art commissions. Let me know in the comments. Have you been paid to make art before? And what commission options do you think you'll be offering? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Tinkalila. See you next time. Bye.